drones MQ-9 Reaper did not appear out of nothing. General Atomics has a long and rich history of creating aircraft equipment and, best of all, is able to create it on its own. MQ-9 Reaper were created entirely at the expense of the company, and only then were proposed to the US government. Why did this happen this way? MQ-9 Reaper General Atomics has long supplied the MQ-1 Predator drones, which have proven themselves in combat during the war in Afghanistan and in the fight against terrorists. But over time, there was a need to modernize them. It should be understood that the Predators were much smaller than the Reapers and had limited development potential, not to mention the payload of weapons. However, for their time, these UAVs were still a revolutionary decision. So revolutionary that the US military still uses the Grey Eagle version. After analyzing the arms market and its development trends, the developers of General Atomics decided to continue working in this direction and create something even better. So the engineers had to work hard to improve this drone. Thus on the basis of their own prior developments Predator B was created, which is called MQ-9 Reaper by American Air Forces. The name has become so entrenched that every type of Predator B drone that is equipped with a weapon is usually called the MQ-9 Reaper. In the military nomenclature, we very rarely, and in fact almost never, deal with a situation where letters and numbers mean nothing. The designations in the US military, and therefore in aviation, are accurate and tell us a lot on their own. In the name MQ-9 Reaper, the letter M means multipurpose, and Q means that it refers to remotely piloted, unmanned aerial vehicles. Even the 9 at the end matters, it means that it is the ninth vehicle in the line of unmanned and remotely controlled unmanned aerial vehicles, i.e. drones. Reaper is just a common name, like Predator or Hawk. The entire system consists of a drone equipped with sensors and weapons, a ground control station, a Predator primary satellite link, support systems, and a qualified team of operators. As you know, all technology is quite complex, and involves a reliable and coordinated interaction of many technical components and people. MQ-9 Reaper is a modular reconnaissance and strike UAV of the US Army. Equipped with a turboprop engine that allows it to develop speeds over 400 km per hour. The maximum flight altitude is up to 15,400 m. The maximum flight duration is 27 hours. The types of weapons that MQ-9 Reapers can be equipped with include, first of all, systems such as AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, which are already successfully used on Predators. These are guided air-to-ground missiles designed to hit armored, lightly armored and other targets that require precise strikes. Another weapon is the GBU-12 Paveway-2 system, i.e. high-precision air bombs based on the classic MK-82 bombs, weighing 227 kilograms and equipped with a laser guidance system. The drone has six external suspension points with a payload of up to 1,361 kilograms. It can carry up to four air-to-ground missiles, or up to eight in the MQ-9 modification, or four Hellfire missiles and two laser-guided Mark 82 bombs. What makes the MQ-9 Reaper extremely effective is its onboard multispectral targeting system, which provides visual identification of targets. In the MTSB version, the crew has an infrared sensor, color and monochrome day camera, infrared, shortwave, camera, laser distance indicator and laser target illumination system. Of course, there is a radar. However, the real magic happens a little later. It's a bit like real-time post-production from film studios. Images from each sensor can be presented separately, 
but they can also be combined if operators decide that this will allow them to perform better or assess the situation in the monitoring area. But that's not all. Basic systems can be complement by bunkers. Of particular interest is the recently tested electronic warfare system, which allows you to track radar and infrared systems, as well as produce self-defense equipment. That is, the drone sees most ground targets both day and night, even if they are in shelters. There is almost no escape from the acute vision of MQ-9 Reaper cameras. Another very interesting feature of this drone is the presence of a special container that allows you to carry, drop and control sonar buoys for anti-submarine tasks. Special radar stations adapted to work on water for marine versions of the MQ-9 Reaper are also being tested. Finally, let's mention artificial intelligence, which is also already present in drones of this generation. In 2020, tests were conducted with the Agile Condor module, which uses artificial intelligence that allows you to autonomously find, track and offer targets to drone operators. The system is designed to be packed in a standard container and transported on C-130 Hercules aircraft. The entire flight control system is triple backed up, so machine failures are unlikely. The control surfaces are also duplicated. The flight of the drone can take place both in manual control mode and in completely autonomous mode. The manufacturer estimates the operational efficiency of the system at 90%, which is considered a very good result. The flight duration of the MQ-9 Reaper reaches 27 hours, 34 in the extended range version. This drone is truly one of the best in its category. There are talks a new series of drones, the Predator C, but it is still under development. Russian developments, I'm not talking about existing versions of UAVs, are far behind. This is one of the best reconnaissance drones in the world, which will help detect enemy targets and aim missile launchers at them. With a wide range of weapons, the MQ-9 Reaper can hit tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, armored personnel carriers, and armored vehicles. Hellfire missiles can even shoot down helicopters. Bombs are also powerful weapons that can be used to neutralize enemy shelters, warehouses, buildings, etc. 